seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, yo? Welcome back to another video. It's Anisha. I'm joined with Roman. And we're going to talk about the news that the Texans are working out Malcolm Butler. This news was released two days ago. But before we start, please uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more Texans content. We're going to be wrapping up. the. Uh, we're going to in, like increasing the amount of videos that we put out for the free agency and trades and stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for the channel. Um, but without further ado, let's get back to the video. So Malcolm Butler hasn't played football in two years. Um, he retired last year with the Arizona Cardinals for personal reasons. He had a role in the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl MVP. Um, but he left the Patriots in free agency. Um, and he then signed a five-year, $61 million contract with the Titans. And with the Titans, he did have some good moments with like 12 pass deflections, three interceptions. A sack and a touchdown and in 2019 he got injured with a wrist injury and then in 2020 he uh intercepted four passes before being released and a lot of people are saying that he's washed and things like that which is probably why he decided to take a break from playing football but what do you think about the possibility of the texans signing malcolm butler oh uh, yeah honestly i wouldn't be fully against it is he washed? I mean, he isn't necessarily completely washed, but he definitely isn't the same player he used to be. Um, but considering that the lack of cornerback, I guess, bodies that we have in the room, it wouldn't be the worst of signings. And uh, especially as a former Super Bowl MVP, um, we're going to be bound to have a young cornerback in the room. Somehow, whether it's like a trade with the Watson or um, free agency or whether it's, of course, a draft. Maybe we draft like Hamilton. or not Hamilton. Um, Sauce or Elam or somebody like that. Somebody early. We need to have a veteran cornerback that at least has some some um background around his name and some guy that has a uh, very good success. Super Bowl to his name, a Super Bowl MVP to his name, um, signed a pretty big contract to his name. So he definitely has NFL success, even though he hasn't been the best. And in recent memory, um, he does not have a good history against the Texans. Uh, Will Fuller actually destroyed him um twice. Within the span of like the last what three four years, um, one was like for a forty yard touchdown, one was for a fifty two yard touchdown, fifty eight yard touchdown actually. So yeah, he's not the same cornerback at all. But as I was saying, just for like a veteran leadership, um, to help mentor a young guy, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, and you can see where Nick Casario's Patriots connections are coming into play. I mean, we did see it a little bit. Um, last off season, but like that trade for like Marcus Cannon um, ended up not working out. So who knows if his Patriots like tied moves are very very good. Um, but and but like I mean Rex Burkhead ended up being pretty, like a solid player for us. So who knows? It's kind of up and down as far as like what Nick Casario thinks of former Patriots players. Um, but yeah, I guess it wouldn't like as long as the contract is like a vet minimum yes it would wouldn't be too bad since we do need depth like in all areas really so um i guess i wouldn't be too opposed to the signing and it would be like a whole change of scenery uh, how he would function in the lovey smith system we do plan on re-signing desmond king so based on that i, I know they're not playing like the same position exactly but wouldn't be hurt to like work him out at least we haven't signed him completely so We'll see about that, but that's pretty much it for the video. Let us know your thoughts um, on this news, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching. Peace.